hidden between the moniker to which we are known to the world. A middle name can be an important part of a person's sense of self, yet it is often an overlooked detail. Consider a group of people that most citizens of the United States are familiar, the presidents. I bet you can name quite a few. Now, shorten your list to include only those who you can recall the first, middle, and last name. Go ahead and pause the video. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. If you are like me, you probably started off quite confident. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, John Quincy Adams, William Henry Harrison, William Howard Taft, Harry S. Truman, wait, what does the S stand for? John F. Kennedy, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Rutherford B. Hayes, how do I only know four and a half middle names? What was Abraham Lincoln's middle name? What does the S in Ulysses S. Grant represent? What were these people hiding? Well, rest easy, my friends. Here are the middle names of the U.S. presidents. Quincy, Allen, Herbert Walker, Walker, Earl, Grover. Yes, that's right. Grover was actually his middle name. Jefferson, Calvin, David, Rudolph, Abraham, Sneaky. Okay, not really, but that's what it should be because his middle name really is Ulysses. His given name was Hiram Ulysses Grant. Due to a little mistake, a record was created that stated his name was Ulysses S. Grant. He tried to get it changed, but it was super difficult, and eventually he just accepted it. After all, what's cooler than the initials U.S. on your presidential campaign posters? Gamaliel. Gamaliel is Hebrew for Word of God. Henry. Burchard. Clark. Baines. Fitzgerald. Milhouse. Hussein. Knox, Wilson, Delano, Howard, S. It really is just an S this time. Both of his grandfathers had middle names that began with an S, so it was an easy compromise. John, Woodrow. His first name was actually Thomas. The end. Just kidding. What about all those other presidents? George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, Millard Fillmore. Who? <laughs> There's no way we could forget about all these men. They just didn't make the cut because they didn't have middle names. It wasn't a popular practice until the 19th century in the United States and Europe. Well, there you have it. Those middle names are a secret no more. But what about the people around you? Think about it. Can you recite the middle names of your closest friends, family, and colleagues? Go. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it helped you learn a little bit more about the US presidents. If you liked it, consider clicking the thumbs up button below or hitting the subscribe button to catch new videos on this channel when they're uploaded. If you want, leave a comment below letting me know which middle name surprised you the most. For me, it was Warren G. Harding. Who knew his middle name was Gamaliel? I didn't. Alright guys, I'll see you soon, but in the meantime, keep pursuing history.